Okay, so now we're at the last award, which is the new Readers Award. And this was a new category we launched this year. Um, we chose a list of ideas that we believe have the potential to change society radically, but have yet to do so. And we then invited economist readers to cast their vote on which idea they thought would have the biggest impact on society in the next decade. So I'm going to give you a list of the seven nominees. The first is 4G wireless networks, which promise to bring broadband to the developing world and make it ubiquitous in the rich world by enabling people to have broadband internet access on every mobile device. Number two is electric cars, which have the potential to change the car industry and make an enormous contribution to reduce pollution. Number three is geoengineering. Deliberately engineered changes to the Earth's climate could help counterbalance or even reverse potentially catastrophic negative effects of climate change. Number four is graphene electronics. The unusual properties of graphene, a form of carbon one atom thick, open up possibilities for superfast electronics. Number five is personal genomics. Analysis of an individual's genome has the potential to show people which diseases they may be prone to and potentially prevent those diseases before they cause problems. Number six is private space launch services. A new generation of private sector space startups promises to open up new markets in space tourism, rapid long distance transport, and possibly even pave the way for a manned mission to Mars. And number seven is randomized trials of aid and development schemes. Rigorous experimental testing of interventions can promote economic development by working out what works and what doesn't, and that can make aid delivery far more efficient than it is today. So which of these seven categories did the readers of The Economist decided had the most promise for the next decade? The winner is 4G Networks. <laughs> Accepting the, um, the award on behalf of the technology of 4G Networks is Alex Lightman, who's the director of Inophone and probably the longest standing advocate of 4G's potential in the world. He wrote a book saying how great it would be eight years ago. Alex Lightman, on behalf of 4G Networks, please come and accept the award. So, since this is an award that's given for the next 10 years, I'm going to use uh, the advanced features of 4G and time travel with all of us to 2020 and tell you what happened. We did it. We connected 6 billion people at 20 megabits per second everywhere in the world. We created a productivity singularity. We enabled complete global connectivity interoperability and adaptability so that anyone can buy, sell, borrow, loan, or swap with anybody else. Right now, I have my 4G glasses on, and there are over a million people watching what I'm watching and walking a mile in my moccasins, and any one of you can do the same. We can share viewpoints, and there's no need for us to fight over scarce resources because we turn uh, everything we see into a new resource. We have a whole new way of increasing intelligence and in 2020, everyone is above average compared to the dark ages of 2010. Thank you.